I had been looking for, for cars for like most of the summer because my, my old Durango that I had was, was, I loved that thing to death, but it was a piece of junk. And I just, I needed something that was going to be a oh, fire truck. Yeah. Away from the past because of audio reasons. <laughs> I just needed something that was going to be reliable, that was like new enough that I, I could have a warranty. So that way I don't really have to worry about being, like if anything breaks, yeah. or anything like that so I was, like I was looking around I was looking at like Subaru Legacies with the manual I was looking at the WRXs I was just trying to find like like something and then someone's like why don't you look at chargers and I was like I'm a Mopar guy how have I forgotten to look at chargers <laughs> <laughs> and went online I was looking I was trying to look for like the 11 the 11 to 14 generation so I could have gotten the the, the RT all-wheel drive so it would have been the Hemi oh, with okay. the all-wheel drive but as I was scrolling, I found this thing, Jeep Dodge Chrysler, like the whatever the, the long name is. Gotcha. And uh, it was a year old. It had six thousand five hundred miles on it. That's not bad. It was the it was the V six, but it was all wheel drive, and it literally like showed up to look at the car. Perfect. Like all it had was some paint swirls in it. <laughs> Yeah, no, it, no, it tops out at 120 electronically. It'll go oh, yeah. at 120. I'm in like halfway through sixth gear, yeah. so I've got the rest of sixth and and all of seventh and eighth to go gear wise. Nice man. So I at mean, that point, it's literally just power. My old tires were the original tires that came with the car. They they had like oh, 42, yeah. 43,000 miles on them. They were just they were done so. And it got to the point where every time it every time it rained, like I I was the guy just like in the middle lane, like doing. Five, like just like white knuckling the wheel and like really scared i was looking at winter tires but then i was like let me see what they have for like ultra high performance uh all seasons and these came up yeah i, I mean, mean they're like 150 bucks a piece i mean you put the new tires on they look pretty solid oh, yeah, i honestly I the new from tires. far away i thought they were michelin's Not yeah they, lie, they, they look really meaty yeah they like i love how meaty they look they like they look wider than than 235s which is what they are <laughs> How's the charger on gas? Oh, great. Honestly, better than uh, better than the Challenger, at least from from Jack's limited experience so far. Because dude, that I, was like, crazy. I, I drove his for a minute, and then we came back, and, and he had like almost no gas burn. I was like, man, these things. Yeah, no, they, they don't burn like, gas. Like, no, I can come up here and just like and cruise and, and bomb these back roads like all day and, and like not even go below three quarters of a tank. Like in the city and stuff, it gets like, especially if you if you romp on it and drive like a tick like I do sometimes, it, you can get it down to like 17, 18 of the gallon. But on the highway, it gets upwards of 30. Yeah, like it, it'll it'll get close to 30, not above 30. I see some lights back there. Am I liking that? Oh, yep. Uh, well, no, that's that's just blue. So it looks like he's going to the uh, firehouse. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, he's going past it. We're fine. Yeah, no, I just saw lights <laughs> like through the tree, and I oh, was like, yeah. I was Wait. like, damn, dude. He said I'm that my heart already. dropped for a second. I was dude. like, please no. <laughs> So it's something to do with control, with the cruise control, where like 
it's like if you're like if it's requesting throttle at a certain point and something shorts slightly then it'll just like continuously accelerate but it's, it's like a, there's a whole bunch of weird steps that lead up to that happening gotcha and i don't really use cruise control anyway so i don't really care so how long have you on the car uh it's over two years at this point uh i think not not quite two and a half years yet i think yeah i think it's like two years uh, it was two years like month or two ago that I've had it and it's like a, I've, I went from 6,500 miles to 44,000 and change. Yeah, that's a lot of, uh, you know, that's a lot more than average. Oh, you know, I do a ton of driving. <laughs> wow, dude, um, automatic really keeps the revs up there. When you yeah, it likes to, it likes to just cool. hold them up there, which kind of sucks in traffic because then I'm just like everywhere. Yeah. Which is the main, that's the main reason why I just drive a manual all the time. It's just so I can like, yeah, dude, I, I, I can be a dick when I want to be and I can, I can be relatively quiet when I want to be. Honestly, I thought these cars would be like these massive boat feeling cars. And it's re it handles a lot better than I was expecting. I mean, granted, I was going from yeah. an 03 Durango that was lifted on 31s oh, to yeah. this. So like the, this is, this is my like, this car was the first time I'd ever driven a sedan for more than like five or six minutes. I think Before the, that, the first thing I drove was a Camry. I think the seats <laughs> could hold you in the place a little bit better, but on the driving oh. back there, I, I really like it. wasn't It wasn't like I was going all over the seat. No, I was. Yeah, I find when it when it gets like when, when I when I start trying to enter corners too fast, like I'm just I'm having to push this the the wheel away from me just yeah. to keep me in the seat. Yeah, that's that's gonna be one of the next things I. Uh, I get is I want to get a nice, like a nicer seat for the driver's seat. Gotcha. I mean, dude, not honestly, like a full bucket or anything like that, but like like a like a bucket style. Yeah, seats like, are important, man. So people think uh, at nighttime since it's a charger, they think you're a cop. Oh yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> so people during the day think I'm a cop at this point. Like, Do you not hear how loud this thing is? The interior is pretty solid. American interiors from like you know the early 2000s, the 90s. Those weren't like good at all, but now they're they're pretty good. And considering the fact that this is this is literally as base model as it gets. Oh yeah, that's true. Like there there's I mean I I added the little blue. Trim. Yeah. Well, other than that, I haven't touched the interior besides like stickers. Yeah. That's the <laughs> <laughs> like and it's like it, it's held up well. I mean the the seat has like a stain on it. That was like the only drawback to the entire car when I bought it was it had so it has like a slightly discolored like stain on it or whatever. Yeah. I swap the seat out anyway. I don't really care. <laughs> So it feels really good. It does feel really smooth. Dude, the exhaust sounds really good. What have you done to it so far? Uh, it's a Flowmaster Super 44, and the resonators are cut off. Oh, okay. So you have a resonator delete? Yeah. Oh, that's why it's so loud from the back. Yeah. In cabin, it sounds pretty loud, man. Yeah, it, it kind of drones a little bit. But it does drone, but I can like take my foot off the throttle, and like it'll shift for me, and, and yeah. like, now put me in fifth. Yeah, yeah, that's and the nice thing is that like it, like you get above like 2,000 RPMs or so, that it, that's when it starts to drone. Yeah. But all of your cruising speeds, if you're if you're in like the top gear that's comfortable, is under 2,000 RPMs. And everything else is stock. Uh, yeah, as far as engine and stuff, that's like stock intake and everything like that. Cool, man. You can really... probably get a better sound with an intake if you really wanted to go down that route. Yeah, but it's like it's like 400 bucks. Oh, like, really? Yeah, like I was gonna uh, eventually I'm gonna put like a like a decent like K and N like like cold air setup on it. But yeah, it's like 350, 400 bucks. So you have an eight speed, right? Yep. Is it up on the highway? Oh yeah. For gas? Yeah, dude. 80 miles an hour. I'm cruising like 2,000 RPMs. It's great. Damn. 60. I'm cruising at 31, 32. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just I love this car as a daily. I love the elevation. Change. I'd say like some people have said that they've had issues with the uh, with these cars with like reliability stuff. I haven't had anything. Silly when I first saw it, like I thought it was cool, but I thought it was like a gimmick kind of thing. But oh no, it's so good. I think it has some purpose. It feels solid in my hand. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, I, I feel like yeah, people, a lot of people are gonna be like, oh yeah, like why would you change out the shifter? It's an automatic. Well, because I drive it in manual mode and I yeah, don't have paddles. Yeah, yeah. That is, that is the way I shift the car, and I am interacting with it like thousands of times every day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so, it's, it's so nice. Does the Charger have the same one that the Challenger has, where it's like a the T grip? Yeah, like it's, it's literally head looking thing. It's literally the the stock shifter is underneath this pedal right here. Oh, okay. Because if you unplug it, leave it unplugged, then it throws an error code. Oh, okay. So yeah, like it literally comes with a kit, like a uh, Barton Industries, the the company that made the shifter. It, the, like it comes with a with a kit, and they literally tell you to like reroute it there. 
I've seen people hey, do some breaking, whack shit. Breaking some necks over there. Hey. Well, Kim is like, hey, you like that. <laughs> So I'm not like, in my mind, I'm just like, yeah, I got, I can do whatever I want, you know, nothing's gonna happen. I got yeah, I, I really have to suppress that urge yeah. a lot, so I, I like, I don't f this thing up. I broke digits. <laughs> <laughs> that road is so much fun. Yeah, man. <laughs> uh, low-key expecting my hands to be shaking a little bit because I got a major <laughs> adrenaline rush from that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I didn't even realize I forgot to close out the video, so I'm going to close it out here. Thank you so much, John, for letting me review your Charger. If you guys want to check out his Instagram and check out more of his car, his Instagram is v6 underscore life. I'll leave it somewhere here and uh, somewhere in the description down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And if you do, hit that bell button. Just as a little preview, I'm still testing out different camera angles, and that's why this video may have seemed a little bit different than what I've done before. Uh, audio might be a little bit different as well. Still working on mashing everything together, but within the next few videos, I'm hoping to have something uh, completely solid, completely figured out. But to be honest, I don't think that'll ever happen. I'm always new learning, I'm always improving with every new video, and uh, I'm just happy to have people watching the video. So if you're watching it, thank you. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.